So let's talk the paycheck to paycheck cycle. Many of us at one point or another have found ourselves living within that dreaded cycle of paycheck to paycheck. And so I'm going to share with you a simple way to get started on stopping the paycheck to paycheck cycle. But I have to warn you though about something. The thing is that even though this system will work, it will help you to stop the paycheck to paycheck cycle. It is not a long term solution. It is a starting point. It is a starting point to learning to better manage your money and to start making a monthly budget, start sticking to that monthly budget and to start actively participating in where your money goes every single month. And so again, I warn you that this is just the starting point. This is not meant to be, you know, to be the end all be all. Okay. So what I call this is I call this the quick start budget and I'll include a link to a visual example for you um, within the description of this video. So you can take a look um, at the visual example if you need that. But this is how the quick start budget works right now. I want you to go into your checking account, look at your checking account balance. And for this example, let's just say it's a thousand dollars. Okay. It's a thousand dollars, but you're not going to get paid until two weeks from now. So your next paycheck is coming two weeks from now, which means that you have a thousand dollars to last you until payday for the next two weeks, you have a thousand dollars to last you. So that means that you are going to have to manage that thousand dollars or else you're not going to have any money come the next paycheck, right? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to get out your calendar and I want you to look at the next two weeks on your calendar. I want you to write down any events that you have coming up, whether it's birthday parties, you know, a dinner date or something like that. All of your events, write those down. And then I want you to write down all of the bills that are due in the next two weeks. I want you to write those bills down, write down their due dates and write down the amounts that are due on those due dates. That's for the next two weeks. When you have written down your events for the next two weeks, I want you to write down an estimated total of how much you're expecting to spend for those events. If you don't know how to do that, look at you know last month or the last time that you had um, a similar transaction and look at how much you spent for that event. Depending on how much you spent, that's the estimate that you're going to write down for that particular event for the next two weeks. Then I need you to ask yourself, do you need groceries? Do you need to purchase anything between now and then clothing wise, you know, a haircut or whatever? If so, you need to write down how much you're expecting to spend on those expenditures. Again, just go back through your bank statements and look at how much you spent the last time that you went grocery shopping, the last time that you went and got your haircut, the last time you bought clothes, whatever it may be. Write those numbers down. Once you have your list of your expenses and how much you're expecting to spend in the next two weeks, total up the amounts. Depending on how much they equal, that's going to tell you if you're going to have enough money to last you until your next paycheck. Because this is the part that I love. I love using a zero balanced budget when it comes to managing our household. A zero balanced budget is exactly what it says it is. It is where you take your income minus your expenses and the grand total is zero. It's literally nothing else. It's where all of your income is going somewhere. Now that doesn't mean you're spending all your income. It just means that all of your income has a job. So either some of your income is going into savings, some of it's going to pay off debt, some of it's going towards retirement, what have you. So all of your income is going somewhere. All of it has a job. And the thing is, is that if you take your income minus your expenses for the next two weeks and you get a negative number, that means you don't have enough money to last you the next two weeks. So you're going to have to go back through your expenses and figure out what expenses you can cut which ones you can reduce in order to get that balance back to zero. Now, let's say your balance is still not zero, but it's a positive, meaning that you have extra income left over. This is a great problem to have, but it's still a problem because your balance is supposed to be zero. So you're going to need to take that additional income that you have left on the table and you're gonna need to apply it somewhere else. Now, depending on your season of life and what's important to you right now, that can be in your savings, it can be your debt payoff, it can be retirement, you know, it could be if you need to save to buy a new car, it can go into that fund. It doesn't matter what, what you do with it as long as you do something with it that's going to benefit your future self. So let's say you don't have enough money in savings. Then I would definitely suggest you apply that extra income towards your savings. Let's say that right now you have a debt that's really a heavy burden on you and it's a debt that maybe you could, if you hustled a little bit, you could maybe realistically pay it off in the next couple of months. I would suggest you pay off or you apply that extra income towards that debt in order to help alleviate that burden in your monthly budget. Again, it depends on you. It depends on the season of life you're in, what you do with that additional income, but you want to make sure that your budget balance is at zero. And you're going to do this every single time you get a paycheck. So for the next three to maybe six months, every time you get a paycheck, you are literally going to look at your calendar, 
between that day that you got your paycheck and the next paycheck. You're going to make your list of all your expected expenses for the next you know, week, two weeks, or month, depending on how often you get paid. You're going to write those expenses down. You're going to subtract it from your paycheck that you just got, and you're going to figure out, do I have enough money? If I don't have enough money, how do I make sure that I don't go broke? What expenses can I get rid of? What expenses can I you know, postpone, et cetera, et cetera. The more you do this, the better at budgeting you're going to become, the more of a habit it's going to become and the easier it will get because right off the bat, it's going to be hard. This takes a few months to get used to. So don't, don't get discouraged if this doesn't work perfectly the first time because it's probably not going to. But this process is the starting point. This helps you get into the habit of managing your money, of setting a budget, learning to stick to it. It makes it less overwhelming because you're not necessarily having to do it for the full month. You're just doing it paycheck by paycheck and you're doing it with the money you already have versus money you're expected to get. But as you get better at doing this, I'm going to encourage you to start making it a monthly budget versus just a paycheck by paycheck budget, because the better you get at it, the easier it's going to be. And then all of a sudden, before you know it, you're not going to be living in the paycheck to paycheck cycle anymore. If you have any questions on this, please leave me a comment so that way I can help you through this process. Again, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video that will show you a visual example of the quick start budget. Cause I know, you know, for me, I'm a visual learner. Not everybody likes to listen to someone, show it to them. They want to actually see it worked out. And so, um, I'll send you a link or I'll post a link in the description for, um, a visual example of the quick start budget to kind of help you walk, walk you through it a little bit more. And so let me know what you think. Let me know if you think this is going to work for you or not.